I had a different call for a failure to start. So I figured I'd record it on my own machine because I didn't want to drive all the way back to record it on the Generac that I actually worked on. But anyways, they said it was failure to start. When I got there, the evolution controller and the seven segment display said it was ready to run. The light on the end of it was green, saying there was nothing wrong with the machine. So I put it in manual to start it and it didn't start. It came back with some failure codes I've never seen in my life. And I don't think they are failure codes. And then it went straight into program mode. Asking me, do I want to do the program in English? So the first thing I looked at was the battery. Because those are really expensive. And all they do is send a command to start like turning the key in your car. So the next thing is the battery. It has to be in good condition. And it'll send 12 volts over here to the starter relay, which will connect these two posts here and allow current to flow to the starter right here. Now the next easiest part to pull out and see if it's bad is the starter. And I can usually look in and see if there's anything wrong. The Bendix will be stuck forward or at a slight angle, revealing that there's something wrong with the starter. And I didn't have that. So I checked here. I had the 12 volts up here for a start command. And I had 12 volts here. But something was causing a direct short and really scrambling the brains of that controller and actually setting the battery back quite a bit because it wouldn't try a second time that's for sure so anyways this is the starting relay that I pulled out and if you look at it it looks good shape nothing wrong with it but there is something wrong with it internally And this right here is the part number. It's a Trombetta starter relay. And the part number is 872-1221-210-07. The 07 on the end only means it's built specifically for Generac. The 872 on the front end, it's telling you that there's 832 volts being used to mount it on the bulkhead here. So when to replace it, it's kind of difficult. I place the machine in off. I pull the fuse and I remove the battery because I don't want any voltage out here on the starter relay. Then I had to remove the top of this in order to get my tools on the back side of that bolt. There's one bolt on each side. You probably saw that when I took the video of the part I replaced. Well, I had to drill the holes a little bit bigger for the bolts because the part that I actually purchased is part number 784-1221-210-07. It's still made by Trombetta. It has the same footprint, but it uses a little bit bigger bolts for mounting it on the wall. So drill them out a little bit bigger, put this one in, and you double the ability to handle inrush current. So I thought that was pretty good. It fixed the problem, and the machine worked. But I'm just noting this problem because uh, I've never seen that. After program mode, that thing would go right back to ready to run, and obviously, it was never ready to run. And I think that's about everything. I think I covered everything on that.